process. Uh, another thing that uh, we want to talk about, there are wheel ends out there that are not conventional wheel ends. Not, they're not standard wide roller tapered bearings. Uh, if you pull a hubcap off, you take your single nut or double nut off, and you take your outer bearing out, and you pull this out, you have an LMS system. You have a spacer. You have a preset hub. The bearing adjustment to this is different than, I just, than what I just did. If you got any questions about how to do the bearing adjustment, contact the manufacturer of that hub, that wheel end system, to get the details on what the bearing adjustment procedure is. Now, you take this out, and this happened to be mushroomed. What's happened is somebody set up as a conventional wheel end. It was floating back and forth, just banging. You need to replace this. Uh, where do you get these? The dealer's sell. In summary, what I want you to take away from this STEMCO TCV training is inspect, inspect, inspect all components. Replace all worn components, defective components. Follow the manufacturer's recommendation on everything. Don't create your own bearing adjustment. Look at things like that red plug. If that red plug is plugged, you will blow the wheel seal. If that breather plug on that drive axle is plugged, you will blow the seals on the drive axle. So inspect, inspect everything, but follow the manufacturer's recommendations. We'd like to thank uh, Waste Management for allowing us to do this TCV training. We appreciate their business. If there's any questions that were not answered, please contact your local Stemco DSM or contact Rick Fitzpatrick. Thank you very much.